As a property custodian, you play a vital role in assisting GSA with successfully selling property. Your review and approval of all sale details prior to GSA offering to the general public will ensure a positive experience for the buyer, your agency, and GSA. You will know action is needed when you receive an email notice with the subject line, time sensitive, approve auction listings. It will include all the sale details. You will need to log in to PPMS to do the approval. Once you're logged into PPMS, you're gonna click on property functions and then my tasks. Next, you're gonna click on auction review and approval. You will see two tabs, pending review and completed review. All auctions that still require review for approval or disapproval will be under the pending review column. Here's the auction that I plan to review. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is review all the property custodian information and ensure that the address and the point of contact information is correct. Next, you'll look over at the inspection date and time. You'll wanna make sure that you or someone that you work with is available to answer inquiries and, and schedule inspections from the general public. And then we have the inspection instructions section, which is going to be shown on the item description page to the general public. So any other information that should be included there, please let the sales contracting officer know. I have two lots that are pending review. I'm going to click on the first lot. And I'm going to make sure the lot name and all the details, including the description, the images, and any applicable documents are attached to this auction. Ensure that all the details are listed and any known discrepancies are also disclosed. Remember, the better the description, the less phone calls you will receive from prospective bidders. Next, I'm going to review the lot details, description, and the images and documents for lot three. After reviewing the description, I've noticed a major discrepancy is not listed that needs to be disclosed. I'm going to click not approve. A detailed note needs to be added when disapproving the lot. The disapproval reason should be clear and detailed enough that it doesn't require additional back and forth clarification with GSA. The goal is to reduce claims and questions from the general public while increasing the number of bidders and total proceeds. Reasons to disapprove an auction include, you're not available during inspection time, there is incorrect information, items are no longer available, the sale duration needs to be adjusted, you want to add extra information such as backup POC, special removal instructions, extra photos, or property won't be available until a later date. After reviewing the lots and approving or disapproving, the sale will display under completed review tab. In the example I went through, I had two total lots. I approved one and I disapproved one. This is reflected correctly under the appropriate columns. Depending on the disapproval reason, GSA may make the change and then upload to the GSA Auctions website. If the reason is more extensive, GSA may submit back to the property custodian for your review and approval. If you need more help on today's video topic, please contact us. You can either contact the PPMS Help Desk by emailing ppmshelp at gsa.gov or by calling 1-866-333-7472. Our Help Desk is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. You can also contact your local GSA area property officer using www.gsa.gov APO to find their contact information. Thank you.